How is everyone tonight? I hope you guys are well in things. We're playing some more Morrowind on Sunday, of course, because that's our new time. Speaking of schedule changes, before I forget, there is one more schedule change. I was speaking to my brother for a short something. period of time what does it ask? after Baldur's Gate last uh, last week. Well, Friday, not even a whole week ago. And uh, anyways, point is, he works Saturday mornings. Um, normally, he just stays up and plays the game, and he's willing to keep doing that. But uh, we've decided to make it a little bit easier on him. And since it doesn't really matter to me either way, we're going to start streaming that on... Thursday nights and uh, that way you know when he stays up till 2 or 3 in the morning to play games with me on uh, Baldur's Gate or whatever we play next he's not you know dying because <laughs> he because he has to get up early to go to, to work or whatever um, so yeah that's all just we're pushing that back one day uh, trading basically the PS2 gaming and the Mormon game by one day that's all no biggie, I don't think. Uh, I remember last time, last week when we were playing, we got a couple new quests. I didn't necessarily want them, because I want to start moving towards the main story, if I can figure out how. But, we picked up some, and I don't want to leave them in our book. So, while in Vivek, a man approached me and handed me a leaflet. He told me it contained important information about a local merchant. I've spoken to Orain Fernandes. <laughs> The, the apothecary mentioned in the leaflet I was given. She was furious about the slanderous comments it contained and offered me a reward if I could find out who was behind the misinformation. And I think we were supposed to go back and talk to that same gentleman, the one that gave us the leaflet. Which I think, if I can figure out how to get out of here, I think we were given it Citizen. in the arena area, I think. Which I want to say is over here. Maybe that one? Or no, the one all the way over there, actually, I think. It's not this one. It's this one, right? No, that's Telvani. So it, maybe it is this one? Wait, how do we not have anything on this one? No doors or anything. That doesn't seem right. Something seems wrong there. Uh, whatever, we're going to go over to that one and see if that's the one that we need. I think it might be, but I can't actually remember. Curious, do you think we would die if we just, like, yeeted ourselves off right here? We have a Ring of Slowfall, actually, now that I think about it. We can just use that to get down real quick. Or Amulet of Slowfall, whatever. Oh, jeez, that's a little... A little slower of a slow fall than I was expecting, man. That's fine. We shouldn't take damage, at least. There we go. Beautiful. And since we're missing a little bit of health, we might as well also heal ourselves up while we're walking over here. Oh, there we go. Now all the little thingies loaded on the map. So, yeah, is this the arena? It is. Okay. I thought it was, but memory doesn't memor sometimes. <laughs> The real question is, where exactly was he? I think it was here in the Waste Works area. Or not in the Waste Works area. It was, um... Was it at the top? Wasn't the top area of the actual, like, arena? It was some sort of shopping district. I remember that much. Maybe it was the foreign district where we just were. That would make sense, I suppose. That he'd be, like, complaining about people in that area. Yeah, cause this is just a pit. Okay, so back back to where we just were then. Uh, this way, yeah. I wonder, do we have the amulet of slow fall tagged in any way? No, we don't. Lame. We equip that. So I'm gonna end up jumping again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I, think, I think we went to cast the spell just a tiny bit too late. My bad. 
<laughs> Sorry, just gives us <laughs> more of an excuse to practice our, our restoration, that's all. It's fun. Might have a couple broken legs, but shit happens. Uh, okay, so we need to go up. And we're out of magic. That way. My god, man, is it late in game already? I feel like time moves so quickly. And it's so dark, man. I'm glad it's a little bit brighter for you guys, but for me, like, I can't see shit. Okay, so it wasn't up here, obviously. Was it, was it down here? No, maybe it was up top. Like maybe if we go up higher. Can't go up here. One of these sides, there should be, like the arena, I'm pretty sure there's another higher section. Here we go. So maybe it was up here. Okay, this is also the way it works. This is not what I expected. Oh, that was the other thing we were supposed to be here. We're, we're supposed to be doing here. We're supposed to be talking to some people. Um, can I help you? Were you one of the people I was meant to be talking to? There was somebody here in this district we were meant to be talking to. I just don't remember who off the top of my head. That takes us back outside. What are you? Also outside. I hate Vivek, man. I really do. It confuses the hell out of me. My time is precious, so make it quick. Uh, good for you. Down. This is just the lower waste works. Okay. Speak quickly, Outlander. Where was the like? Cause like there was an area with shops and things. It wasn't the canal works. Bruh, I'm never gonna remember. Like, <laughs> my memory just doesn't work that well. Not. Is there an even higher section, maybe? Like, okay, so we don't wanna go in here, because this is just upper waste works. But if we go around the side. Because there, there is another door over here, it looks like, on the on the little mini-map there. Like, are these are these stairs up? Yeah, okay, so maybe it was all the way up here. Here we go, yeah, the quarter plaza. Now, who gave us the leaflet? It was a guy, I think. No, not you. You, I think it was you. Yes, uh, no, I don't need another leaflet, but... I need to know about it. These are all lies. Furness is an honest woman. Tell me where these leaflets are from. Do we want to, like, come right at him like that? Or just defend her? Tell me where these leaflets are from. Look, I don't have to tell you a thing. Get out of my way. I'll bribe you with gold. Oh, my God. How much gold do I need to bribe you with? There we go. Listen, friend, time has been tough for me and mine, so when Balan offered me some gold to hand these out for her, I jumped at the chance. Gotta make his ends meet, you know. Balan makes the leaflets, I just distribute them. Balan. Right. G Galero Balan. She's an apothecary over in the Telvani section. I don't think her business is doing too well right now. So she's talking shit on whatever this person's name was, because her business is failing. I'm just going to hand these out until Valon stops paying me. I've got nothing against Ferreriness, <laughs> but she's not paying the bills. I, should I mean, that's fair enough, dude. You're just trying to make ends meet, feed your family and shit. I can't be mad at you for that. So we need to go to the Telvani district. And that was somewhere. Lalu, Redoran, Arena. Telvani, so all the way to the right over here. Well, right on the mini-map. Left in the game, I guess. Close enough. And this time, 
Maybe we'll start casting the spell early. Belt of the Armor of God? I kind of forgot all about that. Oh shit. Oh shit, we're dead. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I, I didn't realize I already had my hand out. Oh, uh, we're so dumb. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I just had to figure out how the hell to get out of here. I have no words for any of you. I found my way out last time by pure luck. Where... Where are we going? This door right here. And then... Alchemist? No. That's the apothecary. Okay, 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 okay. I know where we're at. We can just go here. Hi, guy. Goodbye, guy. Uh, and then... Up, 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 right here. Nope, that's down. Somewhere there's an up, I swear it. You? You. There we go. Hi, you. Goodbye. Now we have to walk all the way back around. I feel like whoever designed this area is just a little bit of a masochist, man. <laughs> There's so much running around in circles to get anywhere. No, no, no. Was it you? No, it wasn't you. So what do you want? You. Leaflet. Uh, Belon makes the leaflets. Leaflet. Okay. That's all we needed. My time is... Now, try this again. Amulet is slow falling. <laughs> I'm still gonna jump, but we're gonna cast the spell a wee bit earlier this time. And actually, like, remember to cast it. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I got scared, man. I, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna trigger. Oh, my God. I clicked, like, twice and it just didn't do anything. But we're good. We're fine. Okay, we still got hurt a tiny bit, but that just makes us stronger. It's fun. This amulet of stamina really doesn't give you much stamina, does it? I mean, at least it's an amulet, so it's not like using up our actual magic or anything. I don't really expect to get into combat here, so I don't mind spamming it at the moment. Healing, Medusa's Gaze, all that other stuff. No, 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 no. Okay. Iron Shade Axe. Yeah, that's what we want. Fuck. Now, okay, so there should be another Apothecary, Alchemist, something along those lines, somewhere here in the Telvanni District. Did he happen to say if they were... No, I was hoping he would say if they were, like, in the Waste Works, or... I'm assuming they have a similar kind of, like, top-level district, like all the other places seem to. So we're gonna check there first. Because presumably that's where, like, the shops would be, right? It's down there. I can see on the map there's some sort of doorway. I'm guessing it's a uh, like an entrance to the sewers. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Temporary Tavani housing. No. Tavani Tower. You have your own tower. Hello. What do you do? Sneak, block, medium armor? Uh, no. None of those I ones. Really don't Actually, thank you, this, though. So make it quick. What do you think of Cassius Curio? Cassius Curio has a splendid mansion in the plaza atop the Hall Lucanton here in Vivek. Okay. Interesting uh, <laughs> take, I guess. What was the... Who are we looking for? Because isn't there someone here in the Telvani district? St. Ohm's, uh, Foreign Quarter, Speak With, Temple Priest in the Hall of Wisdom in the Temple Compound. Uh, I guess not. Okay. So we don't really need to worry about that here. 
big traveler. Now, what's this about? What's the name of the person we were looking for? Domelin, the Red Guard man who was handing out the leaflets. He told me that he was hired by Galero Balan. Okay. And I'm assuming they'll have like an actual shop and not just be chilling around here somewhere. Can we use the beds? No. Can I pay one of you to use the bed? Because taking a nap would be nice. Doesn't seem like it, sadly. Well, maybe next time. Can I pick your plants? No, that's considered stealing too. Okay, you guys are really stingy with your shit, huh? Let's hear it. Looks like a good place for an Speak alchemist, though, with how many plants want. and shit there are around here. Oh, you got a little library? Now it's from the book Blunt Weapon Skill. I mean, a skill up's a skill up. I'm not going to be upset about that either way. If I don't really use blunt weapons. Go ahead, stranger. That is a fancy helmet. Where can I get that helmet, good sir? That's what I really want to know. Not going to help me, huh? This the way out. Prison cells. Okay. Didn't expect that. Hello, prisoner. Dagoth Ur. Don't trust you enough to talk about that. Here's a hundred gold. Stagoth Ur, who poisons us with soul sickness and sends our neighbors screaming mad in the night. I used to think it didn't happen to good temple-fearing Dunmer. Lately, I'm not so sure, but don't spread that about, all right? I don't want anyone thinking I'm having bad dreams. But I'm having bad dreams. <laughs> Tell me about my dreams, damn it. What do they mean? Citizen. Is me? I'm citizen? I'm still not even convinced we are a citizen. Ooh. Are we allowed in here? I didn't see anyone telling us no. There's a ledger. Did they get mad at us just for reading the ledger? Okay, that's locked and trapped. So definitely wouldn't be happy if I went in that one. Or that one. Was it red, though? Interesting. No, that one's not red. Like this one is. Excuse me? Gentlemen? Excuse me? Thank you. So maybe they wouldn't care if we tried to go in this one. I'm just curious now. Where's my probe? I mean, it's a level 75 lock. I don't know if a probe is going to work. Yeah, no, I didn't figure. Do we have a better probe? Quality 0.75. Is that what I have equipped? No, quality 0.5. So that one's a little better. Probably still not going to work, though, either way. Oh. Yeah, no. Failing. Okay. So we're not going in that one. We're watching. Oh. oh, can I put away my, how do we use F? <laughs> Couldn't remember how to put away the freaking weapon, man. I'm not trying to get into a fight with the guards here, the ordinators. Yes, friend. I'm not your friend, guy. Don't even know you. I've never seen you before in my life. What's this regard? A fancy backpack. Wish some of you guys would speak fashion with me, you know? I'm interested in the things you're wearing, but nobody wants to talk about that. If you want something, now's the time to talk. I don't know. Here? Storage. Probably not. This is a tiny room. Who are you? Speak, traveler. Um, you got nothing, huh? I'm a little suspicious of these guys. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they're in here doing some, something they probably shouldn't be doing. 
Make it quick, Outlander. Wait, that's the way we came. This way. Go ahead. Oh, what, residence? So what do you want? You just have a house up here? Okay, so they're Go ahead. not set up quite the same way. The tower, building, whatever you want to call it is. But as far as where their shops and things are, they're in a different spot, different level. That goes back out. Go on, Make it out. Oh my god, dude, the pathfinding. This should be back out. Yes. I actually fit through here now? Thank you. I don't want to go down yet. Alchemist, maybe? No. Speak, traveler. Hmm. Someone in particular. Can you tell me? No. <laughs> you can't tell me. Okay. Sorcerer. What do you want? You train? No, of course not. Where does this go? Trap door? Oh, it's just like your room? But it's down in here? Illusion skill up, nice. I wish I was a thief. I would just steal all this shit right now. Okay, back up. I will listen out, Lander. But Excuse make me, quick. sir. I just went out. This wasn't that one. Not gonna be this one. How much does it cost for us to enchant? Is there anything we even want though? Like fortify health would be nice if it just did it automatically, but honestly, like shield self? Like I just want it to happen without me having to do anything. Oh, damn. Jammins are expensive, man. Whoa! Whoa! Why you got some freaking <laughs> things in your room, guy? What is this about? And you don't even talk about it? They're just there? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I can kill them. I didn't expect to really be fighting anything here, though. Are you going to be mad at me? Are these your pets? Wait, and they're blighted, too, aren't they? Or no, they're just Telvanni sewer rats. And I can use the bed? This is odd. Why can I use the bed? Do we have to like kill this guy at some point? Curious what's in your chest now. Oh, my mouse Th froze up. Excuse me, thank you. Open 50 points. Don't I have a better wild open? Oh, the chance is only 13% though. <laughs> it's not great. Do we have any other better opening thing? We have a scroll, don't we? I mean, the thief ring gives us more agility. 40 to 60 points on touch. It's level 90. Yeah, I don't think we have any way of opening this. Damn. We would have to have wild open not only work, but also get incredibly lucky on the roll. And we're out of magic. Well, let's rest till morning. Wait, did we actually? Nice, okay. <laughs> so we did cast it, but since it's one to 100 or whatever, Lord knows what it actually rolled on. Like landed on, I guess, rather. Thank you for letting me use your bed, my guy. I'll try to remember that you're here. Guess we're allowed to save since we 
Slap. Uh, no. This one. Let's Mage? No, you're not who we're looking for either. Lightning Storm? That's cool. Man, I put, one of these days we're going to play a mage in this game. I don't know. No. You have anything interesting in your home? <laughs> your hole? You hiding anything cool in your hole, my guy? Go Ooh. ahead. Hello, sorcerer. Wait, are we on? Where are we? Maps confuse me. Okay, so those rooms were just like linked. Go on about your business. Now I'm assuming there's going to be a similar layout over here with like a bunch of shops down the middle. The lizard's head. That sounds like a bar. Yeah. Spare jug of mots for a tire. Uh, sure. Here. Thanks for the mods. Uh, such generosity should be repaid. You know the Nord once ruled this land, don't you? Back when these dark elves were squatting around campfires and Nickskins, back in the first age when the sons of Harold a Handfree ruled the northern coast of Tamriel. During the Skyrim conquest, well, I bet you didn't know Omgird, the outlaw, Harold's bastard, was buried as befits a Nord lord's son in his ship in a tomb deep in the Mother Rock. And of course, they buried Stormkiss with him. Stormkiss was Omgird's enchanted battle axe. And you see this old key? See what it says on it? Stormkiss. Here, take it. Healer says the Matza is killing me. I'm going home to Skyrim to die. You got your life ahead of you. Go on. Take it. Thanks. Uh, come on. So maybe we can find this Stormkiss now. The prey approaches. <laughs> Bro, why you gotta be so fucking creepy? got nothing for me where is this person we're looking for another entrance to lizard said so that was all of the shops here anything oh, downstairs that's the canal work so not there speak traveler maybe this one that's to the temple speak, i wouldn't speak, think it would be in the temple Nothing else up here. Um, I think we've been everywhere up here, so temple it is. I'm just a little bit lost. I'm waiting. A wee bit. Move along. No, that's canal works. Where was the temple? Oh, it was here. I'm dumb. What was that? In this room. Make there we go. All right, I'm listening. Was it you? No. Uh Galero Blonde, another apothecary in Vivek to distribute the materials. Galero Blan, Blan. So G? No. B? Sorted by last name, maybe? B? Blan makes the leaflets. Oh, uh, Blan, she's an apothecary over in the Telvani section. Yeah. So we're looking. We're in the right area. We're in Telvani. Uh, make a donation of five and receive a blessing? Sure. I would like Soul of Sotha Sil. Vex Mystery? What did that give us? Oh, luck. It's always nice. It's a very small, slightly run down temple, ain't it? One little patch of dirt here, a single little shrine. Just, it looks more like a storeroom than a shrine. Speak, traveler. Where else could they be? Like, I don't expect them to be here in the canal works. That wouldn't make any sense. Or in the underworks. That would make even less sense. I'm 
they weren't up top. They're not in the waste works. I'm kind of at a loss here, dudes. Mim another Questions again. Find the key to these bars. Who are you? Uh, Quickly, nobody I, I care about, I guess. I haven't much time. Walk level 70. You guys trying to break in to whatever that is? I support it. I hope you guys get in there, man. Do some cool shit. Telvani Monster Lab? What? Yeah, but notice that actually sounds kind of monster esque. Some sort of tippy tappy something. Okay, thankfully they're not that strong. What are they? Centurion spiders. Why are you guys here, though? Lele, hello. Drink. Vanilla, delicious. I guess I can take the repair prongs and the hammer. Yeah. Scrap metal. Greater soul gem. So wait a second. Did they figure out how to make Dwemer machines? Cause, uh, I mean, it's looking like they're using infusing soul gems with metal. That's what it looks like based off of this little shrine thing they got set up here. But I thought only the Dwemer were capable of doing that. Oh, none of those buttons are what I want. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Hi. Uh, hold on. I need to get my weapon out. Okay. Oh, we're alive. We should probably also like eat some food before we die. Yes, I plugged your block back in, love. Food, 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 food. We have no cooked food. Yes, we do. I lied. We have a tiny bit of meat left. Journeyman's calcinator? What is that? A lumbic? Oh, this is just part of... Um, whatchamacallit? Wait, emeralds can be used for... Alchemy? Interesting. I'm curious what those ingredients actually make. Um, but we can drop that Alembic. We don't need it. We have, like, one of the best ones in the game. If not, the best one in the game. So, yeah, we don't need any of that. I'll take all the random ingredients and stuff you got, though. I don't know if we'll al actually alchemicize it. <laughs> Alchemalize? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's trapped. I'm glad that didn't open. Spoiled standard. We'll take standard. Don't want the spoiled. Potion of jump. Jump five points for eight seconds. I mean, I guess that would be nice if we get, like, stuck somewhere, but bargain stuff kind of sucks in general. Where We need our probe. We probing. Okay, trap disarmed. Now, tower key. 50 coins. Worth it. Another trap door. Can we pick this one? Yes. Should probably get ready to fight. <laughs> nothing? Okay, nothing. Something there, though. I it didn't see us. We're okay. A quick save in case the game crashes. And then... Oh god, there's a couple things in here. Um, ow. That kind of hurt. Not too bad, though. We're fine. 
fuck yeah, dude. Daggers for the win. Let's go. Steam Centurion. Nothing but metal. Nothing but scrap metal. Okay. It's all trash. Limeware platter? That's expensive as shit. I will take that. And the bowl. Thank you. And the grave dust. Whatever. Might as well. Bamboo candlestick? No, that's nothing. Dagoth dagger. Absorb fatigue. 20 points for 30 seconds on touch. The absorb fatigue. It's weak. But absorb fatigue? Oh, but it drains fatigue on self. It absorbs more than it drains, though. I'm going to pick it up. We might end up trying it out. We take any of the bones? No. We need just more candlesticks? Yes. There's nothing else in here? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, weapon, Dagoth dagger. Wait, slashing is its best weapon type, not stabbing? With it being a dagger, I just kind of automatically assumed. I guess it doesn't matter. They're all just four to seven. For some reason, though, the game decided slash is the best. Weird. I like the stabbing animation better, I feel like, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Get the hell out of here. Uh, We still haven't found what the hell we're actually here for, though. Which is, you know, the potion lady thing. I don't really even remember where we're at, where we're going. Nothing over here. Have we been up here? I mean, I guess we haven't been, like, down here. <laughs> but I don't expect it to be down here. It'd be kind of weird. If... Her shop was in the sewer? I mean, I guess that would explain why her shop is failing, right? Okay, we probably didn't actually need seven <laughs> torches, but... Full set of armor. Not bad if you're into medium armor, right? No, that's light. Armor rating 16 for Curious. Uh, 16, same. Weight 6. Wait, nine. Okay. That's heavy, heavy, heavy. The rest of it's all heavy and medium. So that's a no for me. I'll take all the ingredients. Is that moon sugar? It is, dude. They be smuggling moon sugar over here. Steel wakizashi? No. We go through the sacks. So well, we didn't go through that sack. Always got to check the sacks, dude. Never know what you're going to find. Spoons? Give me your spoons. Some gold. More gold. Uh, alcohol? I mean, it's worth money. Even though nobody will probably trade with us now because we have drugs. And for some reason, they can just magically tell when we have drugs in our inventory. It's fine if we, like, drop the drugs in front of them, though, as long as we don't have it in our inventory. Because that makes sense. You should heal, my guy. That's what you should do. Uh, da -da -da -da. Do we have any basic restore health potions left? We do. Drink it up. I really don't expect her to be down here. <laughs> I'd be very surprised. But it would be hilarious. If we found out her shop was in the sewer. I mean, I haven't seen any doors over there. I don't really feel like swimming over there. So we're just going to go back up top side. Uh, okay, we've been through... Oh, that's the monster lab again. That's the last place I wanted to go. We've already been there. I want to leave, please. Waste works. Citizen. Where the fuck? If I ran an alchemy shop, where would it be? Can any of you tell me about it? 
No, of course not. That would be Make it too fucking outlander. useful, wouldn't it? Go ahead. Tavani District. Hmm. Not the canal works. Is not you? No. This is also the lizard's head? Yes. So it's not on this side. We've checked all of the doors over here. It's not that one. That's the temple. Speak traveler. This just goes down to the end. To leave, that leaves. Let me through, please. Your guys' hitboxes suck. See, it would make sense if it was here, but it's not. Like, do you have another person that works here by any chance? Maybe that runs the shop and you're just kind of chilling here? Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. I think we've gone downstairs, right? Yeah, you have nothing. Cheap potions and shit. Gross. Even I can make better than cheap. What is it? You're a sorcerer. Alchemist. What was down here? Apothecary? Hey, there we go. It's about time, dude. I don't know how the hell we missed it last time we were up here. All right, about this leaflet. Sure, I don't know what you're talking about. What makes you think? All right, I admit it. Business has been slow, though. And that rareness <laughs> gets a lot of the business around here. Tell you what, I'll pay you 100 jakes to keep this to yourself. What do you say? Uh... Keep a secret for 100 gold. Expose them for more. Well, I guess we don't actually know for sure what we get if we expose them. Do they, like, get angry and try to murder us? I will expose your lies. No! This is gonna ruin me. My reputation will be destroyed. I hope you're happy with yourself. You'll likely put me out of business. Um, okay, goodbye. Is that all there is to say about that? Have to get rid of that moon sugar. Oh my god, dude. Uh, the moon sugar. It's not that big of a deal. Look, see? There you go. It's on the floor now. You happy? Now barter, sell me stuff, even though really you should hate me. Or actually, more than that, I'd rather sell you stuff. Because we have bunches of crap. Will you buy soul gems? No. Should buy ingredients though, right? Ooh, vampire dust is expensive. Sure. Take, honestly, uh, right now I just want to get rid of all the crap we have. I'm going to keep the saw trees. Because I'm pretty sure that's part of the health potions. Maybe fatigue potions too. I don't know. Water breathing would be cool, but I don't want to mess with it. Uh, get rid of, get rid of, get rid. How much gold do you have? You only have 200. Uh, you sell Sajama? Frost salt? Okay. You can have what I'm selling you for 200. There you go. Our offer. Orfer. You're not doing that bad for yourself, dude. Like, you just got my business after all. Alchemy increased to 19. The Cake and the Diamond. <laughs> it's an interesting book title. Right, so now I'm guessing we just go back and talk to the other person. Well, I'll have no part in their lies. So back to the foreign quarter, I guess? I don't... I don't really know. Uh, well, shame when I approach her with the information that she was spreading lies. She's offered me 100 drinks to keep my mouth shut. Told her I'll have no part in her lies. Yeah. So no, I guess we just go back to what's-her-name now that we know who it is. Foreign quarter, here we come! Slowly, I have to get all the way around. Also need my slow falling. What's the button? Aha, F1, quick keys. 
I want... Never gonna remember these though, but I want the amulet of slow falling to be quick keyable. Yeah. Okay. Move along. What key is it? Six. I'm gonna forget that, I promise. We need to go there. Can we make it? Can we make it? I think we can. Yeah, we made it. Let's go. Ow. <laughs> it's fine. We have no magic. Lame. Now, where the hell was this lady? <laughs> I think she was in the waste works. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully we don't have as much trouble finding her as we did the last one. We've been to her shop once or twice though, so hopefully I can more or less remember where it is. I just can't wait till we're done in Vivek. I never wanted to come back here, but the game sent me back, man. It made me come here. I mean, it is the largest city in Morrowind. At least to the best of my knowledge. At least works. What's this then? Enchanter. Wait, have we seen the enchanter here before? Welcome, Orchid. It's good to see a customer in the store. That annoying fool outside chases them away. That annoying fool, you say? Did you not see him as you entered? Is that Marcel M Marard? <laughs> outside my shop. He stands all day selling ridiculous wares. Get rid of him, I would like to, but the law says he's within his rights. Perhaps you might find a way? I'll try. Fresh. You? I'm annoyed by you, too. Hello, my friend. What a glorious time it is. Perhaps I can interest you in one of my fine wares. All magical, all for a low, low price. A man of my line of work must find a way to make a living. What is your line of work exactly, man? I am an actor, or at least I hope to be. I'm the poor player who struts and frets for a while on a stage and then has lunch. I am full of sound and furiousness. Oh, if there was but a good theater troupe in this town, I would give up selling these baubles. Oh, woe is me. Um, you should leave this area. Leave here? I could not. It is the finest spot in all of Vivek from which to sell my wares. Otherwise, I would have nothing upon which to support myself. Dear friend, neither a borrower nor an honest tradesman be. That's what my father's always told me. Um. What if I give you money? I suppose I have a motive. The annoying is he won't actually like sell us stuff either. Hmm. By Annoying. Um, whatever. You'll buy stuff, right? It'd be really nice if it was possible to, like, sort by what they will and won't buy. You buy the leaflet, you will. I don't know what the rest of that is. Don't care. Uh, will you buy ingredients? No. Fuck, I forgot my moon sugar at that last shop, man. <laughs> I do that constantly. Uh, it's annoying. Oh, well. Didn't we pick up something that I wanted to sell because it was worth a decent amount of money? Ah, the platters and the bowl. That was it. Yeah, 732. Let's go, man. If you liked us a little bit more, you'd probably give us more money, but you buy torches? <laughs> I have a lot of them. No, it's fine. It's 725. Scroll black despair? Scroll of. That's not a word. F P H Y G G I? Figi? Figi? What is this? Did they just like mash the fucking keyboard a couple times to come up with some of these words? Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Absorb health. That's pretty cool. Uh, Yeah, I don't think I want to buy anything though. Offer goodbye. Wait, did he do training? He does not. So I do want to get enchanting training at some point. I would love to be able to enchant my gear. 
Thanks for playing my block in. Sorry, I was taking squish. Talking squish with Layla and not getting into the bath. Uh huh. Sure, you weren't getting into the bath. I believe the talking squish, though. Even though Lele only has one squish, kind of surprising, honestly, but. Quit play outlander. I haven't much time. You. Hello. Balan makes the leaflets. Galera Balan? That fetcher. I can't believe she'd do this to me. I'm reporting this to the magistrate. This is ridiculous. Thank you for your help. Here's your payment as promised. Uh, 100 gold. So I guess we could have just not like sold that other person out but whatever uh is what it is buy my emerald <laughs> and my ectoplasm and whatever else i have or hide half a low leaf you have 300 gold okay coat of flowers that's close enough can't be bothered to adjust anymore offer goodbye yes goodbye you added some of the peach punch to your drink. It's not too bad. She wants mushroom and boba. Boba. Yeah, she's really into mushrooms. Just be down in shrooms like candy, dude. It's kind of worrisome sometimes, especially like at work and shit, you know? But it is what it is. Mushrooms are cool. I mean, <laughs> more power to you, man. Whatever you're into, you know? Bad actor. Okay, I don't care about that one right now. Vex informants. Uh, speak with a Khajiit Thieves Guild. Uh, an Argonian in the Foreign Quarter. Lolia. Um, speak with Lolia, an Argonian in the Foreign Quarter. At the Black Shalk Corner Club. Okay. So I'm assuming that'll be up at the top. What words do you have for me? Do you? Where, like, all of the other shops and things are. Have you seen Malcolm? He's the cutest. I have seen Malcolm. He is the cutest. You have Malcolm. Multiple Malcolms, if I remember correctly. Uh, no. Higher. Go on about your you believe three? I'm surprised you don't just know how many. You even have that app to, like, track them and shit. How do you not know how many you have? Warner Club? Oh, oh, that's Fighter's Guild. They could probably give us a job and stuff. Oh, wait. They might have a bed, too. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, training? Will you train me? You will. Uh, you'll train me in axes, which is what I use... But I don't really want to spend that much money on it. Do you know anything of a theater troupe? Cressius Curious, quite a person in the arts. He commissioned some artists to do a mural for him. And I heard that he has written a new play and would like to have it performed. He'll probably be putting together a new group soon. Oh, help us anything all. I can do for you. Huh, maybe we can get rid of that way in a way that's, like, agreeable. Without, you know, murdering him or something. As fun as that would be. I mean, if I'm allowed to just take this stuff, then by all means. It's not like I really need any of it. But... Free stuff is free money? Oh, wait, chest. Power key. Ah, shit, we've already used it. Uh, that's fine. Nope, no it's not. We don't have magic. Uh, do we have anything else that lets us open things? Oh, wait, yeah, we have block picks. It's a low-level one. We might be able to just pick it. Probe, probe, probe. Apprentice quality one. Journeyman five. Well, we've already used this one a little bit, so. Failed, failed, failed. I wish I knew exactly... Okay, I was gonna say, I wish I knew exactly like how it worked. Like what level do you need to be to even have a chance to lockpick something? It might come up with a different message if it's literally just impossible for us, I don't remember. A chitin war axe, not worth. Hello. 
Hello. No, I'm not looking for anyone in particular, but I am interested in increasing my sneak skill, I suppose. What's wrong? Do you not like new bow? <laughs> I like new bow. <laughs> bow looks fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how'd you get behind me? How many do we have left? Yeah, we'll train. We'll train up to 25. 24 and 25. That's probably it. Yeah, 1,500 gold. That's still a reasonable amount in case we need it for anything. Are these? These are the beds. Jesus Christ, the game is acting something. Basha Grosnogdu. Hello. Uh, no, I don't want a quest from you right now, I'll be honest. Just a single gold piece. Thank you. Bad restore health potions. Okay, sleep. <laughs> to you as well. <laughs> Magic food. <laughs> wonder if we're allowed to set up like a campfire in town. I'm assuming the game won't let us do that, but we've never tried either. <laughs> Is it just like that? That picks it up. It's been a little while. Do we click on ourselves? No, it won't let us. That's fair. I didn't really expect it to let us, but again, it would have been funny if it did. Anything we I talk to you? you? Yeah, yeah, we talk to you. You didn't have anything for us either. Been here, we did that, okay. That's everything, I believe. How the fuck do we get out of here? This door? Ooh, nice, dude. Free stuff! Um, Do I really want more hammers? Whatever, fuck it, take them. <laughs> Iron arrows? We probably don't need the arrows or the bolts. Or the shitty for, uh, for helm. We'll take restore fatigue and health, though, the standard ones. What's better? Apprentice armor? Quality point eight. Oh, this one's almost done, though. Let's go fix our shit. What do the prongs do? They don't seem to do anything different. Again, the only thing I can really think of for like the repair prongs versus the hammers is that maybe they have a better chance of fixing different things. Are we allowed to put stuff in here? Nah, I'm not going to. If I do, I'll just forget it's here. We just need to make a trip back home at some Why point to approach? drop stuff in our chest. bag or whatever corner club mages guild corner club probably not that's another smith make sure i didn't miss it smith guild of mages four and quarter okay nope so it might be in the upper waste works maybe apparently we haven't spent much time in the upper waste works Honestly, this kind of looks like a corner club in and of itself. Tell me anything about it. Background? Oh, is the trade a traitor? Guild guide? You want something? No. Would you call this a corner club? That's what I want to know. Corner quarter. None of this shit. For you. What's this about? It's nothing. Just curious who you are. Up 
Bro, I hate Vivek. My time I can't wait to get out of Vivek. Quick. Is it down here? It has to be. There it was. Yeah, okay. Is it this one? Nope, that's upper waste works. I'm an idiot. It must be here. You? No. Wait, what the fuck? Was it in the hallway? Aha! There we go. Oh! <laughs> These are all the people we murdered earlier. Um, none of you are the one I wanted to talk to, though, right? Or needed to talk to? Hi! <laughs> I don't suppose, now that you watch me murder a bunch of people, you'd be willing to, like, buy some stuff from me? Sujama. <laughs> Ash salts. How much money do you have? 250. Chokeweed. Cork ball brute. Uh, I want to keep the food. Got all, I mean, that's good for restore fatigue. Um, bargain potion of junk drain attribute. We're not going to end up using that. You can take it. Grief. You can have the grief. And that. Fortify luck. Fortify. Ba, 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 ba. Cure disease. Dispel. Oh, we have some potions of water breathing. I didn't realize that. Standard fortify. Sheehan, you can have that. Restore willpower. We have a lot of restore fatigue. Rising four. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Do you buy just like anything though? No. Uh, here. 125. Cut you a deal since I murdered a bunch of people in your establishment here. Aha! Down here. Go ahead. Not you. Not you. You've got the better of me, so go ahead. Who are we looking for? I think I'm misremembering the name. Speak with Julio. Julia. Nargonia in the Foreign Quarter. At the Blackshaw Corner Club. Hulia. H-U-L-E-E-Y-A. Oh, we already did that. Okay, yeah, because he's the one that wanted us to go to the books and speak with uh, him there, like away from everybody else. So that one's done. So then... Back with three tasks. Speak with... Adhirner... <laughs> A Khajiit Thieves Guild operative in St. Ohms. So next we need to go to St. Ohms. Yeah, that's why we killed all these people. <laughs> so that he would leave with us so we could uh, speak to him in his friend's bookshop. Good news, friend. Um, I can't do. There's plenty of room for me to get through there. Uh, line of work. Theater troop. But wait, uh, I guess we have to maybe talk to the other person first before we can talk to him about it. Holy, uh, Lalu? No, wait, St. Holmes. That's what we're looking for. That's down here, like, in the temple somewhere, ain't it? Or not. St. Holmes, okay. So it's the one right before the temple. Right before the temple on the east. Falling. Right before the temple on the east. Not you. We'll get there. 
I wonder if the canoe driver dude could take us there. It'd be kind of dumb though, because I'm pretty sure it's this building right here. Right? St. Holmes? St. Holmes. Now North 3? Wait, what? Why is this one different? North 3? Vex informant. Uh, Khajiit Thieves Guild operative in St. Holmes. So we need to find the Thieves Guild. They usually seem to hang out... In, like, the corner clubs and stuff like that. No. Now north too. Speak, traveler. Oh my god. <laughs> At the same time. Okay, it's a Khajiit Speak person. Traveler. I remember that much. Adrenir? Something along those lines? One, I'm waiting. No. And I'm leaving. I don't want to go up yet. I want to check all of the downstairs first. In case she is just like in her own house or something like that. Because she could be, right? I don't know. I'm a busy guy. Hi, so you're not who was up. looking for at all. It's just. I don't know. You seemed interesting, but I was wrong. You are not even vaguely interesting. South to. Ooh, no. Could she, but not who I'm looking for. I forget if I had saved after we slept last. Yeah, we must have. I'm going to quick save at least. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, my God. F5. There we go. Aha! Can you tell me where this person is? That sneak? She'll be here in St. Ohm somewhere, but where? I don't know. Try someone else. Uh, you're not helpful at all. I mean, maybe it was a little bit presumptuous of me to ask, like, the Khajiit, where the Khajiit would be. Or go away. You're not talking either. Do I need to pay someone off to get information? I mean, we've hardly even searched yet, to be fair. We've broken into a few random people's homes and they weren't able to tell us where somebody was. That's, that's it. That's all that's actually happened. We could at least run around a little bit more. Check places. Can the ordinators tell me where she's at? No, I didn't citizen. figure. That that's me. Again, I'm citizen. Thank you. Farmer and labor? Tanners and miners? Barter? Do you actually like sell stuff? Oh you do. Look at that. Oh, the boiled netch leather helm. I think that's the helm that the dude was wearing that I thought looked neat. Armor rating eleven. Armor rating 16. Her armor armor is always better than the stuff that we find like people with. Uh, you can no, you won't buy it. I was hoping since he sold like armor and shit, he would be willing to buy our repair stuff, but nope. You're useless to me. Speak, traveler. Make it quick, Outlander. Do you do anything? No. Uh, wait, what? That goes back outside. Okay, so this is a shortcut between the two sides. Which means... Farmers. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Harder. Just food. That makes sense. You are uh, farmers, hey. after all. I want to break into your room, but I'm not going to. Nothing here? 
Nope, just the exit. Fuck. <laughs> Any time now. You seem annoying. Goodbye. Duvanius Platorius. <laughs> Tailors and Dyers. Basic ass clothes. I mean, maybe if we were like enchanting or something, maybe they would be useful. But honestly, even then, I feel like probably not. What words do you have for me, citizen? I have no words for you. Brewers and fishmongers. Maybe the person we're looking for likes a drink. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Swimmers barter. My Seems like a no. Precious, so make it quick. Whose time is it? We missing anything here? Which the canal works, of course. Mongers Hall, Taylors and Dine and Diet, blah, whatever. Vexium's Vexium, okay. I don't think we've missed anything. I'm gonna jump down just to make sure. Down here. Speak, traveler. Nothing. Go ahead. Wait, what do you do? Oh, just like a little bit of everything? So will you buy some of my hammers that I have? You will. I probably don't need 21. But I can't help but keep them. Here, what I will give you, though, is like eight of these. That still gives us two torches. That should be more than enough. That cleared up a lot of our weight, too. Dire shard arrow, fishing pole. Just nonsense, okay. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, fuck, I didn't even sell him the stuff, did I? Eight. There we go. Uh, I guess if you're just a random person, I guess you could be anywhere. In fact, that could be you right there. Nope. What is your trade? Jadonor has no trade. Jadonor has the sugar. What does Jadonor need with trade? Just go away and leave Jadonor alone. Understood, man. I wonder if we had sugar if they would talk to us. Uh, hold on. I need a weapon. <laughs> Please and thank you. Let's try the Dagoth Dagger. Oh yeah, dude. It's weak, but look at our stamina going up. That is perfect. And then from there, we can switch back to... Our... Whatchamacallit? So, like, when we're running around, we can use that after we're done running around to get our stamina back. Just an empty bottle. Yeah, there's some sort of fiend in here of some sort, but we'll deal with that in a moment. I'm busy looting. That was gold. Almost passed up just straight gold. Back clicking? Sure. Uh, take all. Take all. Take all. Oh my god, so many chests and things. Steel axe is trash. Yes. Gonna be millionaires someday, man. Fucking four gold at a time. Thing. You're all useless to me. Glad that chest wasn't trapped. Uh, lockpick, please. Uses three.
Hey, last chance and it worked. Thank goodness, with a shitty ass axe. Not the biggest haul we've ever gotten, but not the worst either. It's hard to be angry about free stuff, even if the free stuff isn't great. Uh, lock level 15, we should be able to handle that one. That's a probe. Apprentice lockpick. Finish your current attack. I didn't realize we were attacking. What? There we go. Bro, it's only a level 15. I was gonna say, come on, man. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Get an actual weapon equipped in case enemies on other side. Like this rat. Maybe we'll find Adonir like down here somewhere and we just gotta save them. We can be the hero. Ring of Fireball. Fire damage one to 25 for one second and 20 foot of target. It's a big range of damage that it could do. I also feel like it could kill friendlies. Not that I usually travel with friends, but... You never know, it could happen. Regardless, it's worth some amount of money. We'll take it just for that, if nothing else. Really should have picked some sort of system, like, you know, stick to the left wall or something along those lines. Just lock pick. Try that again. Okay, too complex, it says this time. So presumably, I will never be able to pick that lock without, like, a level up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hi, guy. Uh, give me a sec here. I need my axe, please. I don't suppose I can like hit you through the door, and no, I didn't figure, but that did not do as much damage as I had hoped. But okay, Gucci. Bone meal and lesser soul gem. Not bad. Oh, hi! Another one! One expect Vivek to be so, you know, dangerous with the number of guards and just people in general and shit. They really don't take care of their, their homes very well, do they? Chocobo! What's up, my guy? Hello, hello. Great, so useless shit. Oh, wait. That sounds like an enemy. Uh, wait, was that? That was three enemies. Holy shit. How it goes? It goes well. Okay, that's like five of them. What the fuck? Oh my god. Why so many? Oh my god, whatever. We're just not going back there. Well, <laughs> I didn't expect we killed like two or three of those guys without any trouble at all. So I didn't think, you know, it would be that big of a deal. But I also didn't expect like five of them to show up at the same time. So there's that. Now, I don't think other than maybe selling some shit, I don't think we actually did anything here that mattered. Uh, we never did find the person we were looking for, though. Yes. Uh, yes, her name is uh, Deeranir, and she is Khajiit. Do you know where I can find her? 
Excuse me, I'm busy? No. I'm looking for her. <laughs> no. I see. Well, perhaps some other good citizen can tell me where to find her. Wait, but I'm looking... Wait, wait, why are you looking for her? Sorry to bother you. Um... That's not what I was expecting. So wait, is she like in hiding? Is she hiding from that guy? The guy is kind of creepy looking. Oh, I didn't realize there were houses on this level. I'm waiting. Oh, you don't know where they are. Nobody seems to know where she is. I didn't even expect that guy to have a unique voice, or not voice option, but a unique option for it. She be up here on the plaza yingling manor i really don't have time for this so make you're on your honor star don't press your name's your luck. star well hi star shigar gras snagars snagars you're a half troll really don't stand about you don't look like a half troll. Don't stand about. Fuck. She'll be here in St. Holmes somewhere, although if the heat's on, she may not be parading around in public. Ask around. Perhaps someone else has seen her. I've been asking around. Nobody can tell me where the hell she is. Is she hiding here in your basement? Plaza. Uh North one twenty five. Speak, traveler. Problem is, whoever knows where the hell she is might not tell us unless we're on good terms with them. But I don't know who to become on good terms with because I don't know who the fuck to ask about. <laughs> it's a catch twenty two there, you know what I mean? Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. The only even, like, possible lead I have is that there's another Khajiit or two that lives in this district. So, like, maybe she would go to the other Khajiit for help? What was that sound? I'm assuming it was just, like, a mouse or something. Or sewer rat, whatever the hell they're called. Uh, dig author. Lock level five? I mean, that's easy enough. I say, bro, it's literally level five. Come on. Really? You lock your library? Or one quest coping? For real, though. Shit's rough, man. <laughs> I would, you know, we've brought up the idea of, like, remakes and games before and shit. I, this is a game that I would love to see get a remake. Because I think the world is very interesting. I just think there's a lot of problems with the mechanics, at least in the modern age, you know? I don't like the dice rolls in this style of game. I play a lot of JRPGs, and I've been playing Baldur's Gate and love it. So, obviously, like... Dice rolls on their own aren't a problem for me. But in this style of game, you know, for an action RPG, mm, <laughs> not a big fan of that. The way quests work, trash. <laughs> like, not, not necessarily the way they work, just like the complete lack of information in quests bothers me i'm not asking for like you know gps pointers showing me exactly where to go why can i not pick this lock it's a level 10 lock dude but like just something some sort of hint on where to go what to do something um and then the the dialogue when you talk to people is trash they revisit it in eso i, I know man i used to play eso not like a ton, but a bit. And like, I liked the area in ESO, don't get me wrong, but I want the game, you know? Because ESO, 
it's Elder Scrolls-esque, but it's not Elder Scrolls either. It's very different. hoping she would just be like hiding in the temple or something maybe her and the the temple owner here got some sort of deal i guess we found out what the sound was though it really was just rats oh, i probably shouldn't steal from the temple unless they have anything good but it doesn't look like it anyways hey temple dude i fixed your rat problem does that make you like me enough to tell me where this person is? A deer in here? Go ahead. No. You haven't played since initial release, but all the expansions have looked goo. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say they're pretty good, you know? I mean, if you like goo, then I would say they're like goo, but... <laughs> Apologies. No, uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't gotten, like, super deep into the game or anything. But what, but what I have played of the game, I did really enjoy. It's a uh, second favorite MMO, probably. I never actually know where to put RuneScape. That's the problem. I like it better than WoW. I can say that with certainty. I'm waiting. But, but do I like it better than RuneScape? Probably? Maybe? I don't know. That's a tough one. Final Fantasy XIV still stands at the top for me. Speak quickly. Two. My time is precious, so make it quick. This is. Bro, <laughs> what kind of ramp is that? What the fuck? I think this should just be stairs. That would have to suck walking up that. That is steep as shit. Honestly, didn't think the game was going to let us go up that. Fresh game. How steep it is. A haunted manor? I didn't realize it was haunted. Is it actually, though? Handicap <laughs> accessible? Is it, though? Bro, that would be an arm workout and a half trying to get up there. Can we take a nap in here? Oh, we can. 2 p.m. Uh, just a nap to get some of our stuff back and also so I can save in case we die in this haunted manner. Level 50? Uh, I have tower key. I didn't expect to be teleported. Wait, what? Oh. Beard, okay. Map is odd. This is gonna be some sort of like Dark Brotherhood shit. Uh, you're a person. You're also people. Why are there so many people here in this haunted manor? So wait, I'm guessing it's My not actually haunted and you guys just say it is to keep people out? You're not even gonna... Okay. They're just gonna completely ignore the fact that they live in the haunted manor? What do you want? Or maybe they're all like dead and they just don't know. I don't get paid to answer questions. Oh, okay. Egg poachers? What? <laughs> Entered the Fighters Guild contract on that? Thank you. I should have handled it myself, but there's so much to do. Wait, are you the one that asked for that to be done? Oh, this game confuses me. Why can't I talk to you at all? It's weird. And who are you? What say you? Guarding the bold? Spare Alphish, you the barbarian. We need that your affairs have prospered. Can I help you? 
Well, I guess not, because you have literally no dialogue options. Huh. Weird. What do you want the next one to be? I'm not completely against doing them out of order. The only reason I started with Morrowind is because I don't... I didn't want to, you know, play Fallout or Skyrim or um, something along those lines and then come back to Morrowind. <laughs> because I feel like after playing those ones, this would feel even more outdated. But Morrowind and Oblivion, honestly, are the only two that I think I'll struggle with at all. Oblivion, probably less so, but I haven't played a ton of it to, uh, to know. Fable. I, I knew you were going to say Fable, Nate. <laughs> that is very fair? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like I said, um... Oblivion, I need to like try out some Oblivion because Oblivion might be better on its than than Morrowind in terms of like how the mechanics work and things. It might not feel quite as outdated. It is a newer game, so I would think it wouldn't, but I'm not sure. What do you train? You do train light armor. I have money. Sure, train me in some light armor. Any time. I'm about to just look up where this person is, because it's getting late. And it's taken forever. Oblivion is great. Yeah, I mean, people say that. People also say Morrowind is great. And I think both games are great. To be fair, I'm not trying to hot take here. I do think both games are great for when they came out, you know? And I think a lot of things of the games hold up well. Like, world design. Um, story. Um, that's about it. <laughs> a spell crafting, enchantment, uh, alchemy, you know, they had a lot of things that were, would work fine in a newer Elder Scrolls game if they wanted it to, but I feel like there's also a lot of, a lot of problems that wouldn't hold up so well in, in modern day games, but Oblivion is great. Heyo, Kappa, hello, man. Seems waste works. Trying to see if there's any more houses up here we haven't checked. Dorms, whatever you want to call it. So if I don't find her in any of the dorms, then I'm probably just going to look it up. Because we've been searching too long for this lady. I think it's a lady. I'm not, I can't even remember for sure Like if it's actually said that they were a lady or if I'm just assuming. Everybody just says the same thing. The only person that didn't say that same thing was the person that was looking for her themselves. Like, I do know in Oblivion, I don't like the inventory system. Uh, I remember that much from the tiny bit of Oblivion that I played. But I also don't really care for the way the inventory system works in Morrowind either. Doesn't feel too outdated to me. Definitely has some aging, but doesn't feel as bad as some others you've visited. You haven't even modded it. But did you play it back in the day, right? So I feel like that's a big part of old games in general, you know? Like, because if you played it when it came out, then you're just kind of used to it. Probably have some level of nostalgia for it, etc. Oh, you're lit up. Okay. What do you want with her? Hiding from the census and excise it. Hmm. You said something different, at least. I really don't want to pay random people for info. Nope, absolutely certain. Never heard the name before. You seem suspicious. I mean, the name does sound a little familiar. For some reason, I just can't seem to remember. Oh, my God. Okay. And if I know Arno, she'll be staying out of sight as long as the sense of next side's agent is lurking about. Probably down in the underworks. Look for trapdoors down the canal works, though. I, I mean, I should have known that. Honestly, that does kind of make sense. And I'm a little bit of an idiot for not already checking the sewers. 
Uh, but that's on me. I guess we're gonna eat some raw wrap. No, no, wait, egg. Cause I'm pretty sure the eggs work for food. Yes. Okay, now it works. And down we go. Is that her? That might be her. Quick save for crash. That, that's you. Hello. Uh, I'm looking for Grace. So Kaya says to you, speak with Adarnir, and you have done this thing. You are speaking with Adarnir, but Adarnir will not talk to you about the Nerevarine or the Sixth House Call. And because why? Because Adarnir is at this moment very distracted by a nice census and excise agent who also wants to speak with her. Uh, okay. Well, tell me about the agent. You do not know this? They are the collectors of the Emperor's taxers, taxes and tariffs, and the Emperor has outlawed trade in many things, like Dwemer, Artifacts, and Ebony. And then the Census and Excise Agent will enjoy being a pest about such things. For several reasons, the Census and Excise Agent is not Adonir's favorite person. If you want Adonir to help you, make the bad agent go away. Then she will tell you things. So I need to lie to him or pay her taxes, basically. Awesome. Inventory would be one of the biggest complaints, and yes, you did play it back then, but there's also quite a few I played on release, and now that I can, can tell now that there's a big difference. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not saying it's impossible to have played a game when you were young, and then go back and realize that it was kind of shit, you know? I loved Spider-Man when I was a kid, I feel like, but nowadays, ew, it's fucking gross. She just took a gondola to the mainland shore. What a disappointment, but thank you for your time. It was just uh, heading back to the mainland myself. Anyway, maybe I'll run into her there. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass, but... Uh... Yes, I am. Chocobo. I... Have... Star... I have a save on Witcher 1, and I used to stream a little bit of Witcher 1. I don't necessarily think we're going to finish Witcher 1 on stream. Uh, but one of these days, I will try to finish it my own time so we can at least skip that one. Because I think Witcher 2 is significantly better than 1, right? <laughs> From what I've heard, it is. Uh, Gameplay-wise. Again, story and world building wise, world wise, I, I think Witcher 1's great. But it's another one of those games that's good in theory, not so great in practice. Agent gone. You have made the agent go away. This is a good trick. And Adarnir does not ask you how to do this trick because Adarnir does not want to know. But now, Adarnir is feeling quite good and happy to talk to you about the Nerevarine called or the Six Hell Call. Go ahead and ask your question. If you've only played one and three, never be one. Yeah, I've only played one. <laughs> I have the other two, but I've never actually played them. My brother might have played two. I can't remember. I'll try to remember to ask him one of these days. I know he loves three. I mean, just about everybody ended up loving three but tell me about the nerevarine please yes at her knows nothing about the nerevarine cult because it is just silly superstition so you tell callus this nobody in her right mind pays any attention to this nonsense prophecies and ancient heroes reborn and other silliness fuzzy tales for little kitties sixth house cult this Adarnir knows about because it is about smuggling. Some smart smugglers are already suddenly too busy for their old clients because they have a new employer, the Sixth House, who pays very well. But what do they smuggle now? Adarnir does not know because they are very secret. And this is odd because these smugglers are always loud and bragging. And now they hush up like fat-bellied kitties full of sweet meats. Uh, okay. Smuggling is big business. Uh, the Empire says we can't trade certain things. So smugglers trade these things. <laughs> fair um six house has hired smugglers and i think that is all you got for us there yes okay so that's two or three down speak clearly on mechanics of it that it didn't feel too outdated the persuasion system would be better would be other complaint with oblivion does it use the same persuasion system as this game? Because I'm not a huge fan of it. I'd rather do things to make people like me than to just pay them gold. But then sometimes, at least in Morrowind, right? Like you pay somebody gold, they'll like you. And then you pay them more gold and they dislike you. Like it doesn't make a ton of sense. Not a huge fan of it. There might be some sort of system to it that I don't know. But yeah. It just seems fairly random, which I'm not a huge fan of. Three's I really like the world and B-Serie. Magic kind of sucks. Combat is okay. And the game vomits loot at you. <laughs> nice. 
Witcher 1 everyone says to skip. You still plan to play it since you beat 2 and 3. I don't think Witcher 1 is terrible. The combat just sucks. And at least when I was playing it, I don't know if I did something wrong, but at least when I was playing it, there was a huge difficulty spike that made it difficult to progress. I might have been at a hard difficulty, though. I don't remember because I have a bad habit of playing games on a hard difficulty before I know what I'm doing. Uh, so <laughs> that's a possibility. Oh, the story of the three in the conclusion gave Geralt. I gave Geralt in Blood and Wine. Okay. Speak with Mera Milo, a temple priestess at the Hall of Wisdom. Okay. We should be able to find the Hall of Wisdom easily enough, at least. This way would be quicker. God, the f fucking... Ah. <laughs> I, I wish NPCs didn't have collision. <laughs> In, like, every game, man. Unless it's an enemy, NPCs just shouldn't have collision with the player. Just let me fucking walk through them. I don't care about my realism and immersion and shit. <laughs> it's just fucking annoying when I'm trying to get somewhere and they get in the way. I hate that. I hate that so much. Oblivion's persuasion is either throw gold at them or try the minigame. See, this game doesn't even have a mini game. <laughs> this game is just, if you try to persuade someone, persuasion, you can just admire, intimidate, or taunt. And if you do one, they don't tell you like, right? I'll take that as a compliment. So, okay, they like being admired. But if I do that again, there's a good chance at some point, there you go. See, now he's annoyed with it. So like, is it always gonna be two and then they're done or like, I don't know. I'm confused on how that works. But anyways, where are we going? Oh, here, Hollow Wisdom. What's going to be for good old Skyrim? I mean, I do love Skyrim, and I do want to beat it one of these days. I uh, don't forget the other plan is after we beat the story of the games, I want to do like permadeath runs of the games. And those ones are going to be either randomized or like which one we do or every death it's going to switch to the next game in the list if we do the list way. Um, I don't know exactly yet how we're going to do it, but hardcore uh, survival mode, basically, for at least all of the Bethesda Western RPGs. For the other ones, it depends on what we can make work because a lot of games don't have survival mechanics and don't have the modding that Bethesda Games has to add something like survival mechanics. But so like just for The Witcher, for instance, or Fable, for instance, you know, we could still do a hardcore run if I really enjoy the game and want to do more of it. But yeah, Temple Priestess and the Hall of Wisdom. OK, Temple Priestess with a weird name. Library. Uh, I mean, I guess she could be there. Oh, wait, will people tell me where she's at if I. I mean, I don't think. You would tell me. But, like... No. Oh, my God. You have a lot of options. There we go. She works here in the library. If she's not here right now, you might find her in her private quarters. Her door is across from the cannon offices in the Hollow Wisdom. Okay. So, either here or in her house. Oh, it's you. Hello. Uh, Tell me about... Oh. Uh, okay, I sent you follow me into the back of the library. We can't talk here. Fair. Go on about your business. Fair, fair, fair. Is this place actually any safer? What There's is like. This about? We're still perfectly within earshot of the ordinators. Like, in fact, he's right there. I think he's secretly trying to listen to us, but that's. Oh, hey, don't walk away! <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think of Caius? He's a dear friend, like me, admires the best traditions of the temple, charity for the poor, education for the ignorant, protection for the weak. He is a Westerner, but he has come to love our land and our people. But like me, he distrusts the arbitrary power of the ordinators, and like the descendant priests, he suspects the temple is hiding something. Uh, what about the descendant priests? The descendant priests dispute temple doctrine and are outlawed and persecuted by the temple. Ordinators arrest and imprison heretics, and the empire cannot interfere. Progress of truth lists their beliefs. In brief, they challenge the purity and divinity of the tribunal, suggesting their powers are sorceress, not divine, and perhaps akin to the powers of Dagoth. 
They also condemn the arbitrary power of the ordinators and accuse uh, the temple hierarchy of self-interest and corruption. Very fancy. Tell us about the progress of truth. This book lists the disputes of the descendant priests with tribunal temple doctrines. The temple has a outlawed the sale or possession of the book, so it'll be hard to find. We have a copy here, but I fear I'm being watched by ordinators here. A safer plan would be to search local booksellers. Some booksellers ignore temple bans on outlawed books for profits or for principle. Good for them, honestly. Still have on your Instagram a picture you took of when you finally got through Fable 3 with no knockdowns. I mean, seems impressive, I think. I'm assuming that's impressive. Tell me about the cult. The temple worships Nerevar as a saint and a hero, but prophecies of his reincarnation are punished as wicked heresy. The Nerevarine cult claims the tribunal are false gods, hence the temple's persecution of the Nerevarine cult. A group called the Descendant Priest disputes temple doctrine on the Nerevarine prophecies. The prescribed book, Progress of Truth, describes their beliefs. Get a copy of Progress of Truth for Caius Casadas. That will tell him things he needs to know. Uh, maybe the rare bookseller, dude? He might sell that. So, Progress of Truth. Um, okay. And I don't think the rest of it... Uh, is really going to be that important. Yes, yeah, so we just need to get one of those books for him. So, back to the fucking foreign quarter, man. See, now the game's reminding me of... New Vegas, which is... <laughs> The fucking running around in circles, man, in the same area. This kind of quest design is what made me sick of New Vegas once I got like halfway yes, through Outlander. it. Running around one town for hours. No, not this way, this way. Ba -ba. And I, New Vegas did a lot of things better than Fallout 3. But the quest design in the world of that game just did not do it for me. You sell spells up here? It's weird. I'm anyway, missing. sorry. Now I'm getting oh, sidetracked. Okay. I mean, the dude shop that I'm going to is literally called, like, Rare Books or whatever, right? So... If anybody's going to sell it, I feel like that would be our guy. It's not even hard. You'd always just fuck up after getting so close. Couldn't you just, like, if that was your goal... I mean, maybe it beats the spirit of it, but couldn't you just make hard saves? And then if you do get knocked down, just reload the hard save? Kind of like there's a um, trophy for, I think it's Kingdom Hearts 1, for the like 2.5, 1.5 collection, uh, where like you have to beat the game without any continues. So like you can still do that even if you die, you just have to reload the game every time you die instead of continuing. Couldn't you just do that? posted the screenshot i will take a look speak traveler once i find out where this I'm dude's listening. shop is i think it's down i will listen out here but make it quick apothecary alchemist rare books share your not you i've already today. talked to you of course with there being an ordinator here who knows Jabasha! Um. Khajiit elsewhere? Whatever. Barter. Progress of truth or something like that, right? Hey, look at that. That's an expensive book. Can I sell you anything to kind of help with the cost? You don't die. There's no death in Fable 3. And if you recall, it's all auto save, save type deal. But if you knock down, you could just like Alt F4 the game, right? To make it easier. Again, it's probably against the spirit of the challenge, but I'm not suggesting you necessarily do it, but I think you could. Yeah, I don't see anything he'll buy, so we'll just, we'll just buy it. I'll give you, you know what? Screw it. 169. 
Thank you. Please come again. Goodbye. No questions. Okay, so presumably that's all we needed to do for that person. So the last one... Okay, so we've talked to Adoranir. We've talked to Julia. We've talked to Maramilo. These three, I report back to Caius. Okay. So that should be everything. What words do you have for me, Zingas? We can go back to Caius, drop off some of our shit, and then your boy's probably gonna watch go Attack on Titan and go to bed, because I didn't get to last night. <laughs> I forgot my TV do doesn't have Crunchyroll, and I didn't feel like getting up and plugging my, uh, or switching over to my PS5, so. <laughs> uh, guess you could have just turned off the Xbox. Oh, yeah, because it... Wait, Fable 3 was like Xbox 360 or whatever, right? So you wouldn't have had to turn off the Xbox. You could have just hit the home button, quit the game, right? Because it was Xbox 360 for Fable 3? That's scary every time I do it. I really shouldn't. I should just take the extra few seconds to, like, get down normally, but... Fuck it. Back to place we go. Hopefully we never have to come back, but I'm sure we will. Where was it? Balmora? I think it was Balmora. Game crashes now. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Okay. First things first, let's throw all of our stuff at the person over here. Sell some of the junk we don't want. Um. So these hammers are better, right? Yeah, quality ones. So sell all of these hammers. I'll keep the prongs, but we probably don't need this many hammers. So sell you like 11 of them. Um, sell you quality 0.5. Man, why did I use like two different probes? That's kind of annoying. Oh, torches, we still have a shit ton of those. Sell you a bunch of those. Any ingredients I want to get rid of? No. Doesn't look like it. Apparel. I'm pretty sure we're keeping all of that. Weapons, etc. Okay. That'll be it. 200 gold, please, good sir. Offer, goodbye. Can do for you, Quick save. Leave. You didn't get... You don't know. Just make sure you didn't get knocked out. I mean, that's fair, man. That does legitimately sound like it's more to the spirit of that sort of challenge anyways, but... Sometimes you just gotta cheese it, you know? Make life easier on yourself. Time is finite and all that. What are you doing at Caius's house? Oh my god. Game stops that stuttering. <laughs> uh, orders. Have your report and I'll make copies of your notes from Julia and the Progress of Truth. Give me time to read and digest all this. In the meantime, I'm promoting you to journeyman. You're doing good work and here are 200 drakes. Go out and treat yourself to a new pair of shoes and go do some jobs for the guilds or other freelance work just to keep your cover stories current or get some training. Then when you're fit and rested, come back and I'll have new orders for you. Uh, so does that mean we can just like go take a nap and by the time we come back, you'll have orders for us? It's kind of what I'm hoping. We really don't need that mortar and pestle anymore. Okay. Nope, shit. Uh, we can throw all that in there. I'm going to throw the keys in here if it'll let me, just because they're taking up space and we don't have, like, a key ring. Could have sold those soul gems, but I didn't realize we had them. 
keeping the rest of that stuff. Magic. Uh, we have plenty of healing potions right now, so I don't think we need the salt trees. But wasn't I putting potion making stuff somewhere else? I must have taken it out, but it'll make sense to put it here with the equipment, the master's stuff. Weapon, I think that was it that we wanted to get rid of. So now we can take a nap, eat some food, and talk to good old Caius. Uh, take a six hour nap. Oh. In your dream, a tall figure with a golden mask greeted you, saying, There are many rooms in the house of the master. Be easy, for from the hands of your enemies I have delivered you. It seemed you had died and could see yourself laid upon a table lit by candles. But with your own hands, you touched the figure, and the figure drew breath, opened eyes, and rose from the table. Then the room was gone, and the world filled with light, and you awoke. That's not creepy. Wait, did time actually pass? Time didn't even pass. Son of a bitch. You dreamed that a tall figure with a golden mask spoke to you, but you understood not a word. He smiled and seemed pleasant, but when he reached to touch you, it terrified you, and you tried to escape, but you couldn't move. You tried to cry out, but you couldn't make a sound. The figure kept smiling and talking, but you felt sure he was trying to cast some sort of spell on you. When you woke, you couldn't recall how the dream ended. Can I please just go to sleep, game? There we go. God damn, dude. I'm tired. Just let me take a nap. Eat an egg. Raw. Just the way we like it. Save. Yes. So now can we talk to Caius? Do you have new orders, good sir? Discuss orders. We need an Ashlander informant. I have heard of a fellow in Aldrun named Hasor Zion Subani, an Ashlander who left the waste to become a wealthy trader. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these hundred drakes. Find out what uh, Zayn Subani likes and get him a gift. Then give him the gift and see if he will tell you about the Ashlanders and their green cult. Then report back to me. Okay. Uh, so you don't know what he likes, right? No. He's wealthy, so money alone probably isn't going to be what he wants. But we'll figure that out next time. The cheesing was plugging a Guitar Hero controller to cause inputs while I slept so you could continue to collect rent every five minutes. What the fuck? How did... Why did a Guitar Hero controller do that for you, though? Did the Guitar Hero controller on Xbox just constantly output inputs? Yeah, I guess that's right words. Sleep paralysis demon. Bro. <laughs> Rude. Needs to just leave us the fuck alone. I'm trying to take a nap here, man. Oh my god. Knock on wood. I'm glad I've never dealt with that before. Sleep paralysis. Shit sounds terrible. I have woken up before from, let's call it a deep slumber. Wink. And uh, <laughs> like not been able to move like my arm. <laughs> <laughs> which was a little bit scary um but it turns out that i was in such a deep slumber that uh i completely cut off circulation in my arm for too long and just like could not move it at all it was <laughs> i've done that a couple times the first time was a lot scarier than like the second time but uh yeah and I just like woke up and just like one of my arms just didn't work. It was just flopping around. I couldn't do anything with it. <laughs> but after a couple minutes, I was like slowly able to just lift it a little bit and then a little bit more and eventually feelings started to come back. And yeah, good times. Good times. Anyways, it did in Fable 3 for some reason. That's so weird, man. I wouldn't expect that to be a thing. I wonder why. Because I know, like... Maybe not. I was going to say that, like, you can use the Guitar Hero controller to play just normal games on, say, the PS2. But I don't know if I've ever actually tried that before. I might just be crazy. <laughs> Good skooma pipe? I, I don't know if I realized that he had this before. And a spoon. 
You should probably hide that stuff a little bit better, man. And your moon sugar. You just got your moon sugar sticking out here. My god, dude. You smoking moon sugar? I mean, it's fine. You do you, my guy. Anyways, yeah. So, uh, next week, that's what we're gonna do. Is try to figure out this shit. But, I don't think I can, uh do anymore tonight i'm super tired i don't know if it's because of the time change or just because i didn't get much sleep last night or what it is but yeah <sighs> dk bongos too yeah i've seen i didn't like watch a whole video of it but i've at least seen a video talking about it or a article on a website or something like that talking about somebody beating uh dark souls with the the bongos I don't know if I've seen the guitar one. No, I think I have seen the guitar one too. But doesn't the guy that does that... Because I think it's the same guy that did both. Um, doesn't he use PC? And either an emulator or maybe the PC version. And then just remap keys to make it work. So like it's possible. It in no way makes it easier. But to make it possible. I'm pretty sure that's kind of how it works. Something along those lines. God. All right. Oh, I'm going to look at Nate's thing real quick before I actually get off, though. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. This one. Hey, oh, was that an achievement? Probably the end without being knocked out. Well, there was the time in the desert. <laughs> I'm assuming that, like, you're forced to uh, get knocked down in the desert or some shit like that <laughs> because of the way it says that. But anyways, yeah, if it's an achievement, man, I bet they had planned on people cheesing it in some way, most likely by just, you know, restarting the game whenever they get knocked down. Or just loading, like if that's an option, if you can just hit start and load on there. I don't, I don't know. I've never played Fable 3, but... Most likely, no movement inputs for guitar otherwise. Too true. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got the, the strum. The whammy. What's the whammy? I can't remember what the whammy bar is input-wise. Isn't that... That might be right stick. I can't remember. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, Tomorrow, I'll be taking off. Tuesday night, we'll be playing PS2. And then Wednesday afternoon, of course, we'll be playing Final Fantasy X. So I hope to see y'all there for that if you're interested in that. Uh, but yeah. All Fable achievements has some pun and there's a cutscene in the desert. I figured as much. But uh, yeah, nope. Have a good night. Thank you again. And be kind to each other, y'all. See you next time. Bye bye <laughs>